YouTube, welcome in my MacBook 4.1 13-inch 64-bit. Well, we did the install and it was a kind of hassle, but you will see that in the video how to install, you know, uh, Windows 10 on the MacBook 4.1, the white ones, the 13 inches, the old ones. And I could uh, tell you that this was a very different install. Things went totally different and you will hear all about that in my next video. But as you can see, we have everything installed. Also, the display adapter, the X3100 of uh, Intel, was found here as the 965 Express chipset uh, family. The sound worked out of the box. The HD real high definition audio worked out of the box. Um, only thing that we had to, to fix was... Uh, well, the keyboard also worked out of the box, but we had no right mouse click, so we had to fix that with the extra drivers. The imaging devices, such as the Apple built-in EyeSight, we had to fix that, you know. But for the rest, it was up and running. Also, the boot is kind of different. You don't see a folder with a question mark. You get into a white screen, and if you wait 20 seconds, it will go uh, and start up Windows 10. Although, if you want to start up even faster, you can hit the alt key the option key on your uh, on your macbook and then just simply hit uh, the hard drive and select the hard drive to boot the windows hard drive that you will see and it will boot up real fast so about this build well i was a little bit late and i explained that in uh, the video but here we will go to search and we will just search um, for win for the version of Windows. So let's take a look at that. And here you can see this is built 130. Well, there are some um, reasons why uh, I installed the 130, but these you will hear in the video. Um, this is the 32-bit, even though I said that only the 64-bit could be installed on this machine. I was in the imagination that that was uh, the case, <clears throat> because it did not want to boot the perfect bootable USB stick that I created for the MacBook 1.1 when doing a test from OutRefit to boot from that same stick. So that was not working, so something different uh, is happening here in this whole setup and the way uh, EVI deals with uh, the UEVI is also kind of a kind of different battle than in the MacBook 1.1 I must say of what I saw because that's how I visualize it and that's how I see it it's a kind of battle the new EVI uh, pops in and you know needs to deal with the EVI of uh, of, of, of Mac that I understood was still very old. So um, I don't know too much about that, but what I know is that if you want to install uh, this as well, then I would start with burning a CD. By the way, if you um, want to install the technical preview, you will find out that Microsoft removed it from the website. It's not there anymore. And um, that is because uh, the 29th of this month Windows 10 will arrive for most of us and if you install Windows 10 technical preview now if you had a copy that you also had on a CD just like me you know um, I had the 130 still and because it went wrong so many times I also downloaded the 162 the 64 bit special for this for this for this video for this purpose for this machine but um, when I did a install from that CD at 93 percent I got uh, I got the error telling me that uh, some files were corrupted and uh, I must make sure that I insert the right installer files etc etc so I suspect that something went wrong with burning or something was 
I really don't know what happened. But then my whole uh, Mac, of course, was dead because I had no boot, nothing anymore. And how I fixed that, you will also learn in the video. It was really easy. Um, you will need two USB sticks, by the way. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I can report that this runs really fantastic. Sleep works. Uh, I can turn off uh, the machine, put it to sleep, and it just goes right up to sleep. So I think that... Uh, the MacBook 4.1, the white ones, the 13 inches, uh, I think they were from somewhere 2000, I don't even know, 2008 or so, 2009. These MacBooks, they uh, are really fantastic to run Windows 10 on and if you have one running Lion, I think you should, you could, if you want, give it a try to, you know, um, run Windows 10. As you can see, also for Intel Apple MacBooks, new and deprecated. Well, that little sentence I added to uh, this uh, wallpaper because I thought it was a beautiful straight up wallpaper, um, business wise, uh, looking good. So that's why I used it. And uh, I think this system runs fantastic. And once again, uh, of course, I want to thank Microsoft uh, for. Uh, activating the machine for me because in fact uh, activation time was over and yeah because of all the wrongs that happened in the first installers I was not on time to get this done uh, before uh, Microsoft took uh, everything down on the websites and you know not activate new machines anymore so maybe because my IP address is known and maybe because yeah whatever I got activated so you know my system is just activated as you can see by Microsoft and um, yeah so thank you for that even though I'm a day too late I can give this MacBook 4.1 uh, a good uh, chance to test uh, Windows 10 in the race so um, you know it might get Windows 10 officially as well uh, to run on this yeah on this very beautiful still good looking MacBook that in fact after 10.7.5 won't get any update anymore from Microsoft so in fact is also going the deprecated way out so this thing will also be abandoned in a while from now by Microsoft but at least the 1.1 that was already uh, deprecated runs only 10.6.8 cannot be updated to nothing higher than that build is also running Windows 10 very beautiful we have one little issue the sleep does not work you know um, but I think that will be fixed by Microsoft sooner or later but I can confirm that the MacBook 4.1 peeps the white ones the ones that you can probably get for a hundred bucks because nobody wants them really anymore they're kind of yeah they don't want them because they cannot run just me you know get one and uh, yeah install Windows 10 on it and see for yourself how beautiful this operating system runs I'm uh, recording now and I will be editing this video soon so um, yeah it's all good to me peeps thanks again for watching and uh, if you think this video was cool if you think this concept this 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 whole idea of um, let me see how this was um, oh yeah and this is I'm not available to help you I don't want you to help me in my region go away so um, it's all good yo my region is not good enough eh? I'm looking here at the start menu, it's confusing me a little bit here. So probably I'm in search now, I must type this. And now I'm back in the... Hey, wait a minute. Come here. Where are my start items? I think now they're back. No? And now? Ooh, this is kind of confusing, peeps. Oh, there it is. It's back. Cool. I think this thing is listening to me when I say something that it's not uh, that doesn't sound happy in my voice then immediately it fixes it 
uh, don't let let's not get superstitious here but peeps if you think this is a beautiful system and if you think uh, this is uh, cool to see the macbook white 4.1 running windows 10 as only operating system uh, then of course I want you to like this video and subscribe to my channel and of course see you in the next video that will be the install of Windows 10 uh, on a MacBook 4.1 white 64-bit with 2 gigabytes of RAM. Thanks again for watching and of course till my next video.